the band kind of got its starts in, I guess, a long time ago, but um, the current lineup only has been together for a few years, three years now. But uh, me, Andrew, and Marvin have kind of been in the group for oh, eight years now. And we met up in middle school and just started playing like uh, Play you know, covers. cover songs and you know little shows here and there and changed names, changed members a bunch of times, made some songs and EPs and some people left the band and then we met up Elon. We met up with Elon and he he knew Andy. Actually, that's um, the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it's the other way around, yeah. buddy. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I've been there. No, yeah, Andy one. we knew. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> they want. And then, then he introduced Elon to us and. Yeah. And then we've known Spencer for a few years just through friends and uh, we needed a keyboard player. We we're like, hey, you want to quit school and join the band? <laughs> he was all about it. He, he quit school before. I like yeah. the next day. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Let's do it. Before we even told him we could play. <laughs> I already quit, guys. So. But yeah, there's eight years of history, and if you really want to like go through all of it, we can, but that might take a long time. But so that's the you. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Very short version of how the band is together. And I'd imagine you guys couldn't tour that much, obviously, when you started, if you were in middle school. Yeah. We've been only touring for a few years. Okay. Like three years now. A, a little a little less, I think eight. Two and a half, I think. Yeah. So it's, been, it's been a while, so... It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the songs on the new record, I mean, have those are some of those go back a long time? Or are they mostly written recently, or...? They're all new. They're right. all brand new. Right. Yeah, like the even the Punch Your Lights Out EP. I mean, that's three years old now, and mm -hmm. uh, it's just funny like how there's all these reviews about it now, and they're like talking about it. And it's like, well, it's cool that everyone likes it, but it's it's just funny that it's there's such a long gap between what we used what we recorded through previously and what we have now. So there's been a huge growth in like us as songwriters and players. So all the new all the songs on the new record are going to be quite different from the, what we just released <laughs> but yeah all new material how like how specifically would you say the new stuff is maybe different from, from the stuff on the EP well I mean we all love pop music a lot and um, I, I guess you know you could say that it more it, it, it's it's gone more towards the pop pop rock uh, vibe but um, I mean the, the stuff on the EP was more like funky and just like groovy and we just wanted to like you know, jam out back then but now we have a, like a little more focused of a direction I think and we kind of found like who we are I guess if that's what you want to say. I definitely think that we like have since the EP um, just like learned how to like simplify our music because we're all about like being simple like because simple is usually the best approach. Sometimes. Here. A lot of this a lot of like the older stuff was there are times where it was pretty cluttered and we were all trying to like you know have have fun with it, but now we've definitely learned to just simplify everything and make you know what needs to be there there. Are there any sort of songs on the new record that especially stick out to you guys, or you think might surprise people, or anything like that? I think the whole CD is going to surprise yeah. people. I mean, <laughs> yeah, for the, sure. the EP is three you know years old, so we've changed a lot since then. So the, the music is it's not anything like the, the EP, I'd say. Song to song, even, I mean, we don't know the track listing, how it's going to go, but it's going to be like, whoa, oh. I'd say there's, there's one song in particular, which is actually the uh, called Used and Abused, and it's um, a piano track, and I think that's just kind piano of Piano based, yeah. It, it, yeah, it's, the, whole, the whole structure is around the piano, so it's uh, kind of a different thing. We've never really done that with a song before. Yeah, it's kind of like a beatles -y vibe almost to it. I don't know, just trying out different things. We're all about just experimenting, you know. And it all sounds like us, but it's it goes through, like, I feel like it goes through different genres a lot. It's like There's rock, there's funk, there's dance, there's, you know, all kinds of different things mixed together into one. It's some, Sometimes it's really hard to categorize. Like, when people ask, like, what what do you guys call it? Like, what are you, are you rock, are you pop, are you funk? What do you, it's like, we don't really know. <laughs> but our producer calls it Prague pop, so I think that's probably the pe best term that you could <laughs> put us into, like progressive pop, yeah. which makes sense. Do you guys listen to a lot of different styles of music when on the road and that kind of stuff? Oh yeah, we have 
we have everything in the van. Like we all have iPods and stuff. We're always just jamming out on different stuff. Like I, I really like listening to hip hop, you know. And I'm driving the van. I like to listen to my beats. Everybody listens to like Marvin's a big Creed. This guy loves so. metal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, we just we we really just love music, you know. And appreciate it all for what it is. So it's really cool, like, to hear everybody you know has different interests and stuff. Yeah, I think the chariot is in the van that's yeah. the player right now, actually. Yeah. So Sick. the next day it'll probably be like Rachmaninoff or something. <laughs> it goes pretty. It makes some nice little jumps. Did you guys have any special guests on the new record? We tr I think, no. Uh, no. We tried to get a bunch, but we couldn't. So busy, I guess, and trying to figure out. I don't know. We would, that'd be awesome. Like. With Try to get a yeah. yeah but with everybody's touring schedules, it was just like impossible. There were like a bunch of people that actually wanted to come do stuff, but like when they were able to, we were gone. And when we were making a record, they were doing other stuff. So it was kind of just really hectic. Yeah. Are you guys excited for the the Cuters What We Aim For tour? Mm -hmm. Super yeah. stoked. Yeah. So excited. Definitely. Those guys are awesome. And their new stuff is really cool. Yeah, it's gonna be really good. And. uh... It's just gonna be one of the, like it's definitely like a huge step up for us touring wise. Like <clears throat> it's gonna be super like amazing like venues and stuff. We're just really excited to be out with like such a cool band. <coughs> Have you guys ever done a tour like that before? This is I probably say, gonna be this is this is one of the bigger ones we've done. Um, we did the pack tour, which was only a month. This is like a full summer, full nation tour. So Even it's gonna be pretty extensive. Yeah, we're going into Canada. Yeah, cool. Finally, we can get our passports. The borders. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what was the recording process like, sort of in general, this time? Um, a lot of sitting around. <laughs> yeah, well, the way it usually works is uh, Andrew or I will have some sort of, you know, song idea or some sort of skeleton for a song, and then we'll, uh, you know, bring it to the guys and you know, be like, okay, what's up? I'm like. This is what we got. What do you guys want to do with it? Kind of th sort of thing. Like uh, when we did Kiss and Tell, for example, like it was just like beat, like a beat and like a piano part, and Andrew scratched vocals, and then we like showed it to the guys, and they're like, "Oh, that's cool." And then we're like, "Well, what do you want to do with it?" Sort of thing. And then with the producers in the in the picture, they are really there to just guide it along and really just help nitpick and like. We really wanted like everything to be perfect on this record, so uh, usually, yeah, that's that's pretty much usually the way it goes. I mean, mm -hmm. so I guess it's been meticulous. I mean. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's been a long process too. Definitely a long process. Yeah. We've been waiting to put a record out for some time now. Yeah, but I feel like that's the way it usually goes with every band. There's always like one or two people who you know usually have like the ideas, and then they'll bring it to everyone. I've rarely heard of bands actually having like everyone in a room, unless they're like the kind of crazy jam band kind of thing. But I, I don't know. That's never really been the way we've written stuff. Is it exciting to kind of have a full length finally coming out after touring on the EP for so long? We've never had a full length, uh, so yeah. it's just it's gonna be huge. Like this is the greatest thing. I mean, we always had EPs. We had two EPs now. One was like five, four years ago. And one was just just recently, and. Uh, so the first full length is going to be it's such a good feeling. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited to finally have it out and just like available to people, some new yeah. fresh tunes for people to listen to. It's been a long time we've been playing these same songs, so yeah. we're excited.